you know, uh, here we have Dick Morris on Sean Hannity's program. You all remember Dick Morris, right? He's the toe sucker. What is it? He sucks the toe? He, he received uh, some toe sucking, which is just, especially after you hear his voice, remember what he sounds like, and if you've ever seen his picture. I mean, the This poor is Dick woman. Morris, who worked for Bill Clinton at one point, and... Um, would have his prostitute listen to the conversation, I guess, to, I guess that was like, it wasn't, like, he couldn't pay enough to get the prostitute to suck his toes. So he said, how about I pay you and I let you listen to the conversation I'm having with the President of the United States. And that's how it ends up. Now, to be fair, I imagine he had to wash his feet first. But here he is on uh, the Sean Hannity program talking jibber jab. As he's at the moment in a very strong position. I believe if the election were held today, Romney would win by four or five points. I believe he would carry Florida, Ohio, Virginia. I believe he would carry Nevada. I believe he would carry Pennsylvania. Oh, come on. Pennsylvania, and I believe he would be competitive in Michigan. People need to understand that the polling this year is the worst it's ever been because this is the first election where if i tell you who's going to vote i can tell you how they're going to vote and the models these folks are using are crazy they assume a democratic edge of six or seven points all right first off that voice you heard saying ah oh, come on was sean hannity when sean hannity is the voice of reason ladies and gentlemen you know you've got a problem and the likely voter model is one that we see in every election. And sometimes people get it wrong. And Dick Morris is arguing that there's a 10-point swing in how much they have got it wrong. Which, of course, you know, I suppose you could say, I will tell you this, folks, and I'm going to make a pronouncement. If the election was held today, I, as a writing candidate, would win in Pennsylvania. If the election was held today. And I can prove it. If you hold a, an election in Pennsylvania today. And, that, and I will prove it in that event that it happens. So if someone can IM me or uh, call into the program, let me know if Pennsylvania did that. And I think we will find that I uh, will have won the election as a write-in candidate. So. Also, if the polls accurately reflected your support by eliminating all the poll numbers for Biden and Ryan, so that they're down to zero, and then we could just throw in a couple of numbers for you, and you would be leading in Pennsylvania for the cedar unskewed poll. Yes, you're talking about the vice presidential race. I just made a claim about the presidential race. You would win presidency in Pennsylvania. Both. Both. Both the presidency and the vice presidency on a writing candidate uh, ballot. Now, of course, uh, the reason why we don't, the polls don't reflect this is because, of course, they have refused to ask the question, <laughs> would you vote for Sam Cedar as a writing candidate? 